Now let's talk about dairy farm structures and cow housing. This is one of the most critical uh, undertake, undertakings that a farmer should consider at the start of every dairy farm setup. Structures and housing of the farm can be costly and the small scale farmer is advised to look at a number of issues and considerations while setting up such structures and housing. The first consideration is comfort. The structures and the housing that are set up on the farm should make the cow comfortable. And that's why the farmer has to be very careful while designing and constructing any farm structure or any house for the dairy cows. Uh, the farmer should also consider the safety of the animals. Any structure or any house that has been constructed for the cows should ensure that the cow or the animals are safe from intruders, should ensure that the animals are also kept safe from other external harm from any other uh, 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 animals that may break into the, to the house and, and harm the cows. So it's important for the cows to be safe and for their structure to be well constructed, to have a proper uh, door and, uh, and, and, and locks for, for them to be securely uh, uh, kept in any uh, housing. The other structures that the farmer need to also consider are those uh, structures that are used to keep the animal feeds and other um, uh, related uh, tools uh, for use at the farm. All these need to be well constructed to ensure safety and also to make sure that uh, they are safe and they are kept uh, securely uh, for use at the farm. One other major consideration is the availability of resources. And we advise the small uh, scale farmer to use the available resources as possible as they can. Because construction and uh, 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 development of any housing at the farm may be costly if the smallholder farmer doesn't uh, get the right raw materials uh, that can help him or her achieve the objectives of the dairy farm. So the farmer should be advised to use the locally available dairy uh, uh, construction materials like wood and use uh, the locally available labor to construct uh, the housing and put up the structures uh, at the farm. Most smallholder farmers would wish to have a modern housing for their cows. But this may be a very costly uh, affair. And therefore, farmers are advised to use the cheap materials and the cheap labor that is available uh, within their reach to design and to come up with very good structures that can hold the animals uh, at the farm. Now, let's look at uh, a number of uh, structures and housing that are supposed to be put in place by the farmer. And one, we are looking at the housing of the calves, for the calves, which we call the calf pens. When calves have been born, they are very delicate and weak and should be kept in a very secure and comfortable house, uh, 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 separate from the main and the milking uh, cows. This is because the cows can easily harm or uh, 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 step on the calves uh, while they are put together, when they are put together uh, within the same housing use unit. So it's important for the calves to be put in secure calf pens, which should be constructed and raised above the ground to make sure that no uh, uh, no infection 
can get to the uh, to the calf pen. At the same time, they should be constructed in a manner to prevent uh, the cold from getting to the calves. This is because most calves uh, will always are prone to uh, infection and uh, will easily uh, be infected by pneumonia, which can really affect the health of the, of the calf and in most cases even lead to death. Therefore, the calf pens should be uh, constructed separate from the main housing for the, uh, for the animals and the, cal the calves should be securely kept within a raised calf pen to ensure safety and uh, good health for the calves. We also have the cow sheds. Cow sheds are constructed on the farm to allow the animals to rest after uh, grazing and also to allow the animals to graze, uh, to, to rest uh, after uh, moving uh, from the milking areas and also from the feeding areas. Normally you will find that the milking sheds will always have water points uh, constructed uh, closer to them to allow the cows to take water and rest and also cover the animals from the heat that uh, may also be may, may also affect the, the cows at the farm. So it's important for the cows uh, to be held in a shed uh, many times to ensure that they are also don't uh, they're, not, they're also not affected by the heat and the adverse uh, weather like uh, rainfall uh, while, while they are being uh, held at the farm. The milking areas. As I, as I mentioned earlier, the milking areas should also be clean and should be constructed in a manner to allow drainage and uh, 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 free from any uh, contamination or any dirt that may uh, be uh, collected at the, milking at the milking areas. Therefore, uh, the milking area should be spacious enough to allow the animal to be uh, to feed uh, freely and also to be milked uh, in a free position. We advise farmers not to tie their animals in a crash while milking them. Normally, the milking area should be open enough to allow the cow to be milked when it has when it's enjoying its comfort and not to be tight and uh, uh, held within a very squeezed and closed area. The sleeping units should also be well designed to allow the cows to sleep comfortably. We should have enough space between the animals to allow the animals to turn while uh, uh, sleeping. And also the sleeping, the sleeping area should also have enough uh, uh, space and ventilation to allow the animal to uh, uh, to be able to uh, to survive and also to, to 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 be comfortable within that environment. The sleeping area should also be well drained. Most smallholder farmers will tie the animals and uh, find the animals uh, closed together during the night and it will make the animals very uncomfortable. Uh, it is important that we have a good drainage of the animals uh, and for, for the drainage of urine uh, while the animals are asleep to make sure that the cow and the place that the cow is sleeping is dry and uh, comfortable for it. It's advisable also that uh, the farmers will use soft materials at the sleeping point of the animal. This could be uh, sodas or they could also use uh, uh, dry sand so that the cow can comfortably sleep uh, without being, uh, uh, un uh, being uh, held uncomfortable by uh, the ground or the, the, the rough surface of the, uh, of the sleeping area. If farmers can afford to buy sleeping mattress, that can also be uh, that can also work to allow the cow to sleep comfortably at, at that unit. But for locally available materials like sawdust and sand, the farmers are advised to use that at the sleeping area to ensure that the cows sleep comfortably. Fencing and paddocking. This is also important for farm management 
and also for prevention of, um, uh, of, of, of spread of diseases. Paddocking and, uh, uh, and fencing will also prevent other animals from the neighborhood and from outside from sneaking in and these can bring in uh, diseases or even bring in unwanted mating which can be avoided and prevented through proper fencing, uh, fencing and paddocking. It's also important to know that paddocking at the farm will help the farmer separate the animals based on their different ages and therefore introduce feeding and um, uh, 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 other uh, 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 services to the, to the animals whenever it is, it, it, it is necessary. One of the important safety measures that a farmer uh, should also consider is uh, putting in place uh, a footpath to prevent infections from outside the farm. And the farmer could put a footpath at the gate that leads to the farm or at the gate that leads to the holding unit or the milking area or the zero grazing unit of the farm. This is very important as a biosecurity measure to prevent any spread of diseases like the foot and mouth disease that uh, is highly contagious. And it's important that uh, those visitors coming into the farm are informed and are allowed to, uh, to, to, to pass through the footpath uh, to prevent any other diseases that may come from the, uh, from the outside uh, to infect the animals. This is one of the main uh, safety features that prevents most of the uh, contagious diseases in, in, in dairy cows uh, at the farm level. Now, one of the considerations for a dairy farmer is to make sure that the cows are comfortable. And as mentioned earlier, when the cows are happy, they'll produce enough milk. When the cows are exposed to less stress, they'll utilize their energy in converting the feeds and the other resources that they get into milk. It is important for the cow to be comfortable while asleep. I've already mentioned that the place the cow is sleeping should be comfortable uh, with the sun that can be provided to allow the cow to uh, sleep comfortably. We should also have uh, those farmers who are able to also uh, bring, um, buy a mattress, a cow mattress, which is a plastic uh, uh, mattress that the cows can lie on, just for them to be comfortable and uh, to, 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 be, to experience uh, uh, less stress while asleep. It's also important to make sure that the cow is comfortable at all times. And these include making the cow get their feeds at the right time. This also includes um, making the cow um, get enough water at the, at, the, at the right time. And this avoids in reducing the stress uh, uh, at the farm. One other thing is that cows should not be left to walk for long distances on the farm looking for pasture. Because this will strain the, the cows, they'll spend more energy moving around the farm, and that will affect uh, the, the production of milk. Instead, the energy that, uh, the feeds that they will uh, be consuming will be used for energy and for moving across the farm looking for pastures or looking for feeds. So it's important that the cows have minimal movement at the farm to allow the animals to stay comfortably and to allow the conversion of the feeds into milk. One other thing that has helped farmers uh, have their animals produce even better on, and uh, perform better or even produce more milk is introducing uh, music even within the milking units. During the milking time, the farmers will introduce some music and that uh, uh, rhythm and uh, beats that come from the music will make the cow comfortable and hence uh, uh, trigger the release of milk uh, from the cows 
to make sure that uh, there's, there's enough milk that has been produced from the cow. So it's important also that farmers could consider making the cow as much comfortable as possible by um, in introducing uh, such uh, mentioned ideas like music within, during the time of milking. And again, farmers should not stress the animals by beating them up and chasing them up uh, because this affects the animals and as I've uh, said and talked to other farmers, and a cow is like a human being. If they are stressed, their body and their hormonal function also is affected. And thus, they are unable to perform as expected, or normally as expected. Constructing the, cow, uh, the, the calf pens to ensure that we have, you get a proper structure of a calf pen is uh, to construct it uh, and raise it at one meter above the ground. The construction of the structure should not be as high and as low, uh, uh, but should at least be about above the ground by one meter. This should also enable the, the, the calf uh, to get into the calf pen uh, more easily and without um, any hassle. One other consideration is that while constructing a calf pen, you should put um, a, a well-designed uh, ladder to enable the calf to climb over to the calf pen more easily without harming uh, uh, the, the calf. So it is important that that is put into consideration. Again, within the calf, in, the calf pen, we should have a, a soft material like sawdust or, uh, or sand, which can be spread on the floor to enable the calf to sleep comfortably uh, over there. And also uh, the, car, the, the, the walls should be well covered and well ventilated to enable the calf to stay in the, in the, in the calf pen more comfortably without exposure to the external um, uh, environment like uh, heat and, um, and rainfall. We also have the sleeping unit which I've mentioned here, that the sleeping unit should uh, be comfortable. And by saying comfortable, it should be clean and free from any dirt uh, uh, at all times. Uh, during the night, the cows will uh, urinate and, uh, and, and make the place dirty. And that is why it's important to make sure that every morning, and um, we, at least twice a day, to make sure that the area is maintained uh, with uh, high levels of hygiene and any other uh, dirt that collects during the, uh, the day at the, milk, at, the, at the sleeping area should be removed and washed away uh, all the time. Remember that at the sleeping area is where uh, most farmers put their feeds uh, 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 for the animals to feed even during the night. So the feeding area and the traps should also be raised well above the ground to avoid the cow from straining uh, and, and getting to the feeds uh, at any time they would want to feed. And the, the areas where the feeds are kept should always be cleaned at least also twice a day to, en to ensure that uh, the cow is feeding on uh, very fresh food and uh, uh, clean uh, uh, feeding trough. It is always advisable that the farmer keeps the whole uh, uh, process simple and to make sure that they use the locally available resources to put up um, a housing unit and also uh, erect the structures that are supposed to keep the animals safe at the farm. Remember that the comfort of the animal translates to the production of milk. When a cow is comfortable, she will be able to produce more milk because she's exposed to less stress and the body functioning will also be facilitated by the good environment and the comfort that she enjoys.